Hi guys, Mike here with Mike's Custom Model Shop and uh, I'm doing an update here um, for my uh, Mountain Goat Jeep Commando uh, by MPC and uh, I just wanted to show my progress uh, so far here. Um, I'm getting the, uh, the chassis more or less done here trying to anyway uh i'm uh let's see if i can get it positioned here <clears throat> i'm uh not exactly thrilled with the way the engine uh was supposed to be placed uh in here but um as you could probably tell it let's see if i can get this Okay, um, it's a little bit slanted, uh, I guess I'm not sure, you know, if it's supposed to be that way or not, but, you know, uh, I at least got it, um, placed in there, but, you know, like I said, I'm not too thrilled about the way it, it, uh, is slanted like that. But, uh, you know, it's set in there. I'm getting that part of it done. And uh, I'm getting various other parts um, uh, finished as well. I'm getting the body, getting it ready, getting it done. I've yet to, uh, uh, I haven't clear coated this yet. So <clears throat> I'm going to be uh, getting that done here uh, pretty soon. But, um, I got had to paint a lot of parts, of course, before I can uh, place those in. Got the, uh, this is the back gate, which I'm assuming that's going to be an operable gate. Uh, I've got my steering wheel uh, done. And I've got the fire uh, wall ready to be placed in. And let's see, I'm trying to think what else I got. But like I said, mainly uh, the chassis, I've, I just took a lot of work to get all the the linkage and the, the parts in there uh, for the, uh, the front part of the chassis there. Um, and, uh, you know, but it's coming together okay, I guess. Um. Uh, uh, the I had to do a little work with the the pipe. Um, let's see if I can get it. This let's see if, this uh, exhaust pipe did not quite fit that great with uh, you know toward the. Uh, I had to reattach the exhaust on the engine because it wasn't placed right for the exhaust to hook onto it, and then when I did place it the right way. Uh, the way the exhaust is hooked on here, it does not, it didn't reach the other end of the exhaust that comes from the engine. So I had to kind of improvise on that a bit. But, um, you know, the rest of it though is okay. Uh, so I'm getting that done. I'm kind of happy with the way the, the tires look uh, uh, now that they're attached to the chassis. The interior... Uh, I'm a little bit more happy with that. Um, I've got to get some uh, decals uh, for the, um, uh, you know, the readouts, uh, the speedometer and all that. I'm going to put those in there eventually. But, uh, you know, I've been getting uh, the, uh, getting it all done. Uh, this seat, I could either put it back here or use, go ahead and, <clears throat> put the um, roll bars in there which you know you, you can only do one or the other so I'm going to go ahead and do the roll bars uh, place them in here uh, it's already got you know the roll bar attached uh, to the body but uh, you know I can add additional to that uh, on the picture you can see they've got that scoop there or the whatever that is it's uh 
uh, something that goes onto the hood, which is this piece here. And I'm trying to see if that, okay, yeah, if it's okay. So I've got to attach that yet before I uh, clear coat that, the hood. But that's where I'm at, guys. Uh, I, uh, uh, like I said, I'm getting various parts. Uh, you know, I've got to get everything painted and let it dry before I can attach a lot of these parts. So uh, that takes a lot of time to, uh, you know, doing a lot of hand painting and, and uh, spraying, of course, with various colors. But uh, it's coming together, uh, and, uh, you know, it's it's uh, piece by piece. I'm going to be getting it done here, but it's going to be a while yet down the road before I uh, finally get this completely assembled. But I'll keep you guys updated on uh, my progress. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, you guys keep building your models, and I'm going to be checking in on all of you guys uh, and seeing what you've been doing and i hope you enjoy what i've been doing and uh it's uh <clears throat> you know really enjoyable to to do this in your spare time and needless to say i've got all the spare time in the world now because i'm retired so i could do this all day if i wanted to and that's why i've been you know getting it done uh, my model's done uh uh in a fairly uh quick amount of time um, whereas before, you know, I have to wait to, to, uh, come home from work and, uh, and start working on them. But, uh, of course, when you're retired, you don't have to work and you can do all this stuff whenever you want. I also wanted to mention too, as you could see, I, uh, wired up the, uh, put some uh, spark plug wires in there for the engine. And, um... I found a, a new method to do that. I uh, decided it was a lot easier to, and I know a lot of you guys probably do this already, but <clears throat> you know, I uh, I was always finding it difficult to attach the wires, spark plug wires, uh, onto the engine. But I decided to try something where you can, uh, I can uh, take and drill holes. Okay. I'm getting out of focus here. There we go. Uh, I don't really have a little, uh, a tiny little drill, a little hand drill like some of you guys do. So uh, what I've been doing is just uh, using my X-Acto knife and just taking it and turning it and turning it where I want it until I get a hole cut into the plastic um you know the engine block and uh, then when I get that done I can just slip the wire in there no fuss no muss you know of course glue it as well but it stays where it's supposed to stay and and uh, it makes it a lot easier so I thought I thought I'd just go ahead and pass that along for any of you guys that are making your own uh, distributors and um, you know uh, making uh, put attaching your own so uh, anyway, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll see you guys next time around. Uh, until then, uh, you guys have a great rest of the day, great rest of the week, and God bless all.